Hey boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly, animatorsforum.com, and of course the Real Illusion Forum, where you're probably, possibly seeing this, I don't know. Uh, I wanted to give you a pass on this real tip. I, uh, we're always trying to get uh, these parts in from Daz that, um, that hide body parts on the Genesis figures. And we've talked about this in the past. Uh, this arm, the cyber arm right up, for example, when you bring it in, it hides part of the Genesis uh, figure. And as a result, if you try to import this into uh, Character Creator 3 using Transformer, it'll, get, it'll throw an error because it doesn't see the full Genesis figure. And I've showed ways around this, uh, basically unparenting this, and, and, but you know, you don't have to. It's much, much simpler than that. So all you really need to do is just add another Genesis figure here. So here's another Genesis figure in a T-pose, because this guy's in a T-pose. I'm just going to drag this over into here. Uh, it takes a little while to add it, but essentially what we're doing, uh, when, when Character Creator looks at this file that we're going to export, it looks to see if it can find a Genesis figure first. And uh, this first figure, this one that says Genesis here, will, will not match up. It'll look like it's another piece of uh, clothing or something. Uh, but this one, because it is a Genesis figure, this one that says the two will match up correctly, and then the other pieces can be uh, uh, either either brought in as as clothing or not, or accessories or not. So we're going to export this. I'm going to call this uh, two folks. I've already done this, but I wanted to show you how this works. So, and that's all that happens. You have the two Genesis figures. You accept that. It's going to export it. And when this is all done, it won't take very long uh, to export. You notice it always uh, resets everything, all the poses here. <laughs> Maybe I should have just not exported it, but there we go. It's getting there. Uh, 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 and we're done. Okay, and now we're going to go into Character Creator, default here. I'm going to go to Transformer, and we're going to load in those two folks. I'm going to open those up. And this is the part where it always looks to see if it can find a Genesis figure that matches up. If it doesn't, you're going to get the error and never get past 5%. It'll give you an error right there. But now it says it's fine. Basic is fine. We don't really need the textures for that Genesis figure. And what will happen now is it's going to show you the pieces it can load in. And you notice here's that Genesis 8 male. This is that original Genesis 8 male figure. But now it thinks it's clothing because it, it's not, as far as character creators is concerned, it's not, it's not an actual Genesis figure. We don't need that. So we'll discard that. And the other thing we'll want to discard is the eyelashes for that guy. We don't need that either. What we really want is just that cybernetic arm, just like that. Do that. And so what's happening is it's getting the Genesis 2 figure, the, uh, the, the second Genesis 8 figure, the number 2, that one in parentheses. It's using that as the, as the character and then bringing in that cybernetic arm on top of that as a piece of clothing. And uh, that's basically all you have to do. So it's much, much simpler than have to worry about you know, unparenting or trying to uh, delete the other Genesis figure. You can just leave it alone. Just drag another Genesis figure right on top and it'll match up and there it goes. And then just to, you guys know how this works, just to finish this off, what we would do here is because it was hid in, in Daz, we also want to do the same thing. We want to hide it here. Uh, so we go to face and we make sure ignore back faces is off and then just take that and hide that and then there you go. You've got uh, you've got the cybernetic arm there, just like you'd want. Uh, I may have hit a little bit too much there because you can you can see. We, <coughs> excuse me, we've hit some of the, the skin too, so I'd want to go in and, and change that. But no biggie. Um, so that's about it, folks. Hopefully this helps you. A much simpler way to bring in. This works for geo. Oh, geo, geo shells is a special case. We've talked about that. They're actually the uh, texture maps, but it works for. Almost anything that you bring in that, that throws an error because it's hiding part of the underlying Genesis figure. Okay? Talk to you later.